Now we're going to look at a channel strip. So a channel strip is, as I said in the other video, about layout from top to bottom. It's all these buttons, and that's just repeated across. So what each, each button does, let's just have a look at that. So we've got the fader, so that controls the volume. These faders only control the volumes for the main speakers. That's very important to know. It's not going to control the volume for the stage monitors. So that's the volume. We've got these individual buttons. Main mix. It's a quite important button. When that's pressed in or turned on, you're going to hear the sound through the main speakers. If it's turned off, it doesn't matter what you do with this, you're not going to hear any sound through the main speakers. So it's important that if we wanted something turned on, and some of them we actually want turned off for different reasons that we'll explain in other videos. So, yeah, there we go. Five, six, three, four, one, two, seven, eight. These are groups. Basically what these do, it sends the same signal from here over to these groups. We'll look at that in a different video. Mute button mutes everything. So if I've got something playing, like a CD, or even someone singing, if you press mute, it mutes not just in the main speakers, but also in the stage monitors. So mute mutes everything. That's like a, a master mute. It just mutes that channel. So if I'm singing out of tune, you'll go out of over here to Adam. You go up to mute and make sure it's already on. Look, mute. Getting muted. <laughs> so... Next button, PFL solo with the red light. That's used to trim in the gain when we're doing the sound check. Now, we'll look at that on another video. Pan. Well, it goes all the way from the left and the right. So if we have it over on the left, the sound from that channel will only come through the left speaker over there. That's why usually we have them in the centre. Apart from the CD player. So the CD player, we've got two channels, so we pan them one left and one right. That gives us a good stereo signal. And if you don't know what stereo means, then come and ask me. Okay. You don't need to really worry about this section. This is just another, another channel in itself. We don't really use these, so don't worry about them. This is the monitor section for the stage monitors. It's kind of turquoise, blue, bluish, greenish buttons. And again, we don't really use these grey buttons here, so you don't need to worry about them. But these are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've got the first monitor, which is where I stand over there. The second monitor is usually the keyboard. Uh, the third monitor is usually over the left-hand side over there. And actually, this, there's two monitors linked, so let's just go and have a look at that. That'll be useful. So this, this monitor and this monitor are linked. They're on channel 3. This monitor is my monitor, channel 1. This monitor is also linked to channel 1. This monitor is channel 2 for the keyboard, and that's 3. So it goes round in a circle. My monitor, number 1, number 1. Number two, number three. Okay, let's continue. That's a monitor section, and these are just volumes for them speakers. So if I say, oh, I'd like more of, uh, I don't know, the CD player in my monitor, which I'm never going to ask for, then you go up to one of the CD players in my monitor, which is number one, and you just start turning it up to... Uh, until it's a good, comfortable level, etc. More, more of that in the monitors. Now, this next section is EQ, equalization. This is a really important section, and it basically con controls the volumes of the different frequencies, so from, from low to high. So these are the lowest settings up to the highest settings, and we'll look at them, because that's really important in, a, in, a, in another video. And uh, what we've got at the top there is the gain, you can see there, mic, line, and we've got this flip button, so that just 
flips between uh, this big channel or this, this separate channel, which again we don't use, so don't worry about that grey button there. So that's the gain. Basically that's the volume of any instrument or microphone coming into the desk. So the way a channel strip works is the whole desk is we've got things that come into the desk like microphones and guitars but then we've also got things them same things uh, mostly actually come back out of the desk into the main speakers so for example a microphone from the stage will be coming all the way to the desk it will be going into the back of the desk and it will be coming in and we'll control the volume of it there and then it's going all the way through the channel strip and it's coming out again through the main speakers and that's why we can adjust the volume here so I think that's it that covers most of the basics